This is a really cool Bluetooth speakerphone. Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here and I'm checking out this. This tiny little device is the Audis Filter Bluetooth conference speakerphone and it's a pretty incredible piece of technology. First off, you can see it's really small and it folds so you just put it on your table like this. What really differentiates it though is it has an extraordinary AI powered level of environmental noise cancellation and all of it's adjustable with controls on the front of the device and in an app that pairs with the device itself. So it has a beam forming dual microphone array. So when you have it like this, you can have its pickup be anywhere from 360 degrees with everyone in the room, all the way down to 105 degrees, 90 degrees, or even 70 degrees. So it's gonna just focus on the person that's right in front of it and ignore all the other environmental noise. Now I'm gonna demonstrate that so we'll be able to hear how well it does with that. And you can turn that filter sort of capability on or off and have it at different settings. So if someone says, well, it's a little aggressive, you're cutting out a little bit, you can just push it down a little bit. Or if someone says, you're in a really loud environment, can you like get everyone to be quieter? You can just up it a little bit or increase it. So the speaker itself, looks really tiny, but it's actually a planar magnetic speaker that's optimized for speech clarity. And what optimized for speech clarity means is that there's not a lot of bass and there's not a lot of highs. It's really mid-range. That's where our voices tend to be. So that's what this tends to maximize. So it can be really loud nonetheless, up to 118 decibels. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna turn it on. There's a power button at the bottom. And it has voice prompts for everything, and they're all very nice and clear. They obviously hired a voice actor to do all of the recordings. And Connected. it automatically pairs. I have an iPhone 14 Pro for our tests here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and just play some music so you can hear what it sounds like. So not sure how well that reproduces with my mic and YouTube encoding, but what I will say is that there's not a lot of bass. This is not really a music speaker, although it's functional, but it sounds like an AM radio. Remember in the old days when you'd switch from AM to FM and suddenly there was so much more dynamic space? Well, this is the AM side of that, but it's designed to be that because this is for voice. So it does a really nice job with that. And in terms of getting loud, it gets pretty darn loud. So that was test number one. Now for test number two, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually record my voice and then fiddle with some settings. But before I do that, I wanna give us some background noise too. So when you see me touch this, what's gonna happen is I have a recording of a loud bar. So here's what that sounds like. And we can make it even louder. So, here, I have no noise cancellation, so it sounds like I'm in the middle of a bar and you're like, well, where are all those other people? <laughs> so, handy to have that for our test. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it behind, so closer to you, but ostensibly behind this. And then I'm gonna go into my phone. Let's get this recording started. And I'm gonna go into the voice recorder. And let's see, here we go. And so what's happening now is you're hearing my voice as recorded by the Audis filter speakerphone and apologize you can't see it, it's right here. Um, but here's the thing is that I have no sound around me. It's a quiet environment. So if I stop talking, it's very quiet. So now let's get that crowd noise going. So now you can hear what it's doing with the crowd noise, but the obvious question is, well, hang on a second, let me pause that. What's happening in terms of that ENC? And you can adjust it from the device. So, so I'm gonna start it with low. So I'm gonna start with it off actually, and then I'll just step through those modes and you, as I'm talking. So there's our background noise, and now it's low, 
It's medium. And the noise suppression is high. But here's the thing is I'm still doing that big 360-degree um, beam form. So what I want to do is I'm going to switch into the app while we're still recording. So this should work. Let's get over here and launch the app and reconnect to the device. And it's really hard to stay focused with this much crowd noise, but this is, I think, a pretty realistic environment. Maybe just a little softer for my own mental clarity. Um, but let's get this thing connected. Uh, it won't connect because I'm recording and using the voice. So, all right, so I'm going to stop my voice recording, and then let me just show you how the app works. So you've heard my voice. And now I'm back to just having it be me on mic. And so now at this point, I think we can say goodbye to the crowd. It's a little stressful being in a really loud environment and trying to talk to someone. <laughs> but that's realistic. So now let's see if we can get back here and actually connect to the device, hopefully. There we go. So now you can see on the device that I have the noise suppression set to high, which is what we expected. And beam forming, I can adjust that beam forming. In fact, apparently their specs are wrong. You can beam form from 30 degrees, 90, 180, or 360, which sort of zero degrees is directly in front of it. So it's how wide it should be listening for audio. And where that might be helpful is you are in a noisy environment. Maybe you're working from home and your kids are screaming and the dog's barking and the laundry, the washing machine is thumping along and it's you and one other person. So maybe you put that at like 60 degrees, I'm sorry, at 90 degrees and you just make sure you're both in sort of that cone of voice and then it will mute and try to do its best to suppress all the sound around it. So in addition, you can also do some boosting of the speaker itself. If you want it to get louder because you want to hear the other person even better, you obviously have the ability to do that and you can tweak its sensitivity of microphone sent, you know, sort of pickup. And finally, you can also adjust things like voice prompt levels and auto shutdown and there's a firmware update. You know, there's lots of stuff you can do. So let me stop the recording and if it's not obvious, I'm pretty darn impressed with this device. It's really slick. Now, let me show you on the front, all of the buttons are on the left-hand side and they are from the top, beam forming, noise reduction, volume up, volume down, mute or unmute, and answer call, hang up call. So all of the key functions you want are right here on the device. And then on the bottom is a power button that's recessed. So you're not going to accidentally turn it on. And then if you double push this, it also gets you into Bluetooth pairing, something I had to figure out for myself. Um, it does come with a bunch of other cool stuff that I want to talk about. So in the box, it also includes a nice manual that's printed incredibly small. So you probably want to go onto their website to check it out and it comes with USB-C to USB-C charging cable, and they did a nice job. They included a USB-C to USB-A adapter, so that's the rectangle, so if your computer that you wanna charge it or plug it into isn't actually USB-C, you have the adapter. They have a little tiny, it's essentially like a little mouse pad, and I guess the idea is that you put it underneath that so that it doesn't mar any surfaces, but a, it's super light, and B, it is designed to be on a conference table, so I really can't imagine you're going to have any issues, but still, it's cool to include that. Now, the bigger and greater thing it includes is it includes this very nice carrying pouch. So you can just fold it up and just slide it in here, and you're ready to go. So really, there's so much to like with this. It's such a well-designed system. And in terms of the unit itself, it runs Bluetooth 5.0, so it's a nice modern version of Bluetooth, which is obviously good. And let's see, I'm just going to put this here. And so, let's see, here we are. So it runs Bluetooth 5.0, and it has a 1,050 milliamp hour battery that gives you 15 hours of use on a charge. When you need to recharge it, then you can't see. There's no USB-C connection. Where is it? It is here. So they did a nice job of sort of hiding that connection, which is smart 
because when you keep it like this, it keeps that port clean. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Power off. So there we go. And you've already seen the Audis Hub app gives you access to a lot of additional functionality. It's pretty important, though not critical, because the most important settings are redundantly covered by buttons on the device itself. The app is for Android or iPhone, and then they have a different app for Windows or Mac. So whatever it is you're connecting it with, this will work fine. And think about the fact that this is completely compatible with any voice-based system you use. So you can use this with your PC on a Zoom call. You could be on Microsoft Teams or uh, Microsoft Meet, whatever it is. I think Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, BlueJeans, Skype, any of those, you can be on FaceTime on your iPhone and then use this for the audio and then use the phone's camera for the video side of it. So really, really powerful and flexible. It is made out of aluminum. It has an excellent feel to it. It's a really nice piece of hardware. It is a half an inch by three inches by six inches. But it is light. It includes that thousand milliamp hour battery and all the hardware and everything, but it's really pretty easy to slip this into your purse or pocket. Then whenever you need it, just pull it out. It'll automatically pair. It'll turn on all that noise reduction and you'll be good to go. So, so much to like here. I'm really impressed. I've looked at a lot of Bluetooth speaker phones over the last year, and this is my favorite of them. Partially because of the functionality, it just does a really great job, but partially the design is really cool and really striking, and it's really clear why Audis has won a number of awards for this particular device, and that you see it showing up in like best tech of 2022 and things like that. So this is a real keeper. Now, we need to talk about the price. It is a fairly premium product. But before we get to the price, I'm gonna ask if you could subscribe to this channel. I really appreciate it. So, a click or a tap on subscribe, a click or a tap on that bell icon for notifications, and we're connected. And if you found this to be helpful and interesting and useful, I definitely appreciate a like or a thumbs up too. Cool, this is the Audis Filter Bluetooth conference speakerphone, and it's $249 at audis.com. That is a pretty premium price, but I will tell you, it does a really good job. I don't even need to tell you, you've heard for yourself what kind of work it does and how well it filters out all that background noise. If you need to sound professional and you need to sound like you're in a quiet environment when you're not, this is a solid option. That's all I got, so I'll hope to catch you in my next video.